22nd of July. We're on uh, Cedars Lake, Sister Lake to Island Lake. We come on here for a couple of nights because we're on Island this weekend. Um, we got here for this afternoon, we've been in about two, three hours. And I've had this one, a 38 mirror. Oh. First fish. to this side, quick as she goes back. Right, here she is going back. Let me get her composure a little bit. Nice fish, nice stop. Broad, isn't it? Across the shoulders. Mm. Bigger than I thought it was going to be. To be honest, I thought it might not make a 30. Days, first fish. So past nine, uh, Wednesday first night, um, had a bit of a hectic evening, but oh, about an hour ago, half eight, had a small common, um, what was it, 16, 16 and a half, 16 and a half, yeah. 16 and a half. Uh, we literally just put that back, um, and then not my, that was my middle rod again, and then my right hand rod went off, and that was a 21, 20, no, 20 just pound, under 20, 20 pound 12, 20 pound 12, 20 pound 12 common, so 
yeah, one bank straight back after the other. Um, that's two fish in the space of 10 minutes. So, yeah, nice. I've had three fish today. Um, nice to get back. Um, I've not done any fishing at all this year. Um, family commitments. So it's nice to be back. So the rods have just been, I've just redone all three rods. Uh, Dad's just redone all three rods of his as well. Uh, just so they're all fresh for the night. Um, there's been a lot of fish showing over everywhere really today. Um, you have a little look. Weather's bang on. Um, it's gone a bit, uh, it's not so much cloud now, the cloud's gone. But the, the wind's picked up, it's a nice, nice little blow on the water now. Um, it was really, really been hot today. Proper, proper red hot. Um, so, and the forecast is due to get colder. Uh, not, not cold, but, but cooler, which is better for us. So we're on here till Saturday. And Saturday we're off to Island Lake. Um, so just up the road. It's nice to come here for a few days, get the rods out. Um, it was nice to get a bend in the rods. Just get myself back into it again. So yeah, gonna keep you posted. Um, there is some decent fish in here. The 38 was a nice one I had earlier, uh, but they go up to mid 50s, I think. So um, yeah, and the main thing is we're fishing and, um, and we're catching. So I'm pretty pleased with that. So uh, yeah, keep you posted. Um, and then the, the main blog will be from Saturday onwards, so hopefully. Uh, we might be, I, I don't think we're gonna be as lucky as we was last year on there, but um, it will be nice to see a uh, nice fish come out this week regardless of who catches it. So there's always a chance on there. Big and come out. Um, Mickey Hall had the big in six weeks ago, maybe, at over 90 pounds. So big beast. Um, but there's some nice fish in there, a lot of 60s and nice 70 pound common in there as well. I wouldn't say no. But yeah, we're on here. So we're gonna focus on here for a few days. Um, and then we're heading over there. There's four of us on there. It's a mixed group. So there's 10 on there, I think, next week. But there's four of our lads on there. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed, it's gonna be good. But I'll keep you posted. Um, like I said, any small ones I don't I don't normally film or photo, so I just send them straight back. But any nice ones, um, I, I'll try and catch up and film for you. I have got a little bit of a problem um, where for some reason the GoPro is not linking up with my phone, so I can't quite see what I'm filming. So if it's a little bit pants, I'm I'm, I'm sorry. I apologise. All right, guys. Speak to you soon. morning we've had a busy night three fish each we've had uh, this is the biggest um, of the bunch we've just had it just now it's just gone it's about half seven these now so it's just after seven o'clock uh, went out in the boat to get it so we went right around the back bay uh, this one's 27 six don't worry about the camera on this just gonna get get it up A lot of places won't let you use a polyball mat. Twenty-seven six, fish number six for me. Eight o'clock, <clears throat> busy night, uh, not a lot of sleep. Um, I suppose first fish was about 11 o'clock last night. Um, I had one at 11, I think. Then dad had I think two at two o'clock in the morning. He had two, one after the other. Um, I think he had a low 20, and then he had a, a, a little baby one. About five pound it was beautiful little fish uh, must be one that's been growing on a uh, lovely little fish proper nice scales on it It'd be a nice fish when it's bigger uh, where else 
think Dad then had another one about four, and then I had one at five and one at seven. Uh, that last one at seven, I had to get out in the boat. My left hand rod went right around the back corner, straight out in the boat, playing out in the boat, um, which is fun. Um, so yeah, it was good. So um, the best fish I've shown you this morning was a 27. That's the best fish out of the six. A lot of small fish in here, uh, but it's it's really really good fun. They fight hard, and uh, if you're after a bit of action, it's, it's good in here. It's good in here for that. Um, like I said, we've only we've not even had the rods in. I'd say the rods have been in 14, 15 hours, and um, I've had six. Dad's had three. I also foul looked to fish and lost that. Um, coming with a big scale on the side, which is never nice, but can't really do a lot about that so yeah it's, it's a lot of fish showing um, so yeah it's it's plenty of fishing to go at loads of fishing to go at a couple of nice ones in here as well be nice to see a decent one um, as I always say but you've got to be in it to win it and we're fishing so you've got a chance I'm happy that 38 I had yesterday was pucker proper nice weren't expecting one that sort of size out of it it's nice to have it. Um, be nice to see you know another 30 or two 30s out before we go on Saturday morning. A uh, couple of the boys, Sean and Dave are out with us. Um, they're on Island Lake with us next week, so they're they're coming out tomorrow. So we're gonna have a little barbecue social tomorrow night. They're gonna stay with us, and then we're heading over to Ireland, which is 10 minutes down the road. And then we've got a week on there. Um, it's been fishing pretty well this week, I think. I was talking to Mickey Hall yesterday. I think the, the lads have had 16 fish out up to yesterday morning, which is pretty good for their for, for the first half of the week. The weather conditions are good now. Forecast was supposed to be really, really hot up until yesterday, and then cooling right down. Um, not hugely, but going from sort of mid 80s to sort of low 70s now for the, for the remainder of the time we're out here, which is really good for fishing. Um, and it's it's nice, it's really, really cloudy. Looks like proper carpet at the moment. Um, a lot of fish showing. Just hope that the action continues throughout the rest of this session and throughout the week on Ireland. It'd be nice. Don't expect a lot on there. You never do because it's not easy, but it'd be nice to pick a few better fish off. That's what you're fishing for. You're fishing for big fish in there. Any big fish venue, don't expect to be uh, hauling. It's, that's just not the way it is. It's just you're, you're fishing for one or two fish at a time. You know, one or two fish a week, and your week could be made up with what's in there. Last year I had an exceptional week, um, just I think lucky really, the fish were on me all week. It's not, you don't normally get that, you normally get them on you for a short little period, sort of 24, 48 hour period and then they might disappear and then might come back. But for having, to have them in front of you all week like I did, it's very rare I would have thought on there. Um, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happens next week. I'm going to crack on on there, keep blogging and... Um, Yeah, hopefully show you a couple of decent ones. I've not done any blogging at all since last year. I've not done any fishing since last year. Um, me and the missus have had a nice little baby boy this year, so my family commitments have been the priority. Uh, my earlier frit trip, which I would have been on in May, I had to, I had to leave and not do, because um, I had other things. I had to have other priorities at the moment, which is one of them things. So, like I said, we're on here. I'm back out on Frick later this year anyway, so, um, you know, not as much fishing as I'd like this year, but other things have to take priority and fishing can come once he's a little bit bigger, I suppose. But other than that, yeah, back on it, back blogging, and um, hopefully back catching. Half 12 now on Thursday. Um, I had two this morning, I had a 23-12 mirror, and I just had this 24 and a half mirror. Uh, I'm going to show you it quickly before I put it back.
This side's nice. Mm. It's only, only got broken with on one side. Nice scale pattern, right? Yeah. 24 and a half. Fish number eight. Absolute carnage in the swim. Three rods, three nets, three fish. I've had one straight after the other. Um, one at two, another literally playing out for about 10 minutes. My second rod went off. We just netted the the second of the two fish and my third rod went off, so let's sort them out. First of the triple take, 20 pound four mirror. This one was bionic. Proper, proper smash me up. Nice fish. It's gonna be lively, no doubt. Lovely fish, that, look. Oh, I've seen the next one. 20 pound four. No, it's a little bit fat. Yeah. five Thursday evening um, I'm sitting up next to the cabin right up out of the way behind a tree because I'm baking it's uh, supposed to be colder today but it don't feel any colder to me it feels red hot well, it's a little bit more cloud cover than yesterday but it's still piping so I'm sat up here because I'm starting to burn um, it's nice up here see most of the lake um, so I'm in a bit of shade and get all the breeze, so it's lovely. But uh, yeah, if anyone who fishes here, you've uh, you've basically got what's behind me now. Uh, you got one each side of the lake, one for pegs one and two, and one for pegs three and four. We're in pegs three and four, um, and I'm guessing um, when you fish the lake, higher the lake, um, you get the cabins as well. So which is nice because you can cook in them. Um, which makes it easier. Coleman stays in the van. Um, if you want to, there's beds in there. I suppose if the missus comes over, she's got somewhere to sleep instead of sleeping under a bibber or brolly. We've got a fridge freezer, which is nice, especially for these days like today. It's nice to have a cold drink. So, uh, so yeah, facilities are fantastic here. Fishing's been pretty good. Um, but loads of fish. Um, so if you're after runs, this is definitely a place to look at. <laughs> Um, since the three I had earlier, Dad's had a small one, um, a little baby common, about, I don't know, small, five, six pound maybe. So, um, so there's plenty of fish in here, um, sort of growing up. I, I don't think they've stocked these, these must be just fish that have grown on in the lake, which is nice to see. Um, some really nice scaly fish in here as well. Um, don't know what the sort of plans for the future are. I was talking to George earlier, the owner earlier, and uh, I think he's still a little bit undecisive as to whether or not he wants to sort of thin out the stock in a little bit to let the stock grow or keep it as a runs water. I mean, either way, it's it's as a runs water, it's fantastic, and there's probably still plenty of fish in here if he thins it out a little bit to let the big ones grow. Um, like I said, there's some nice fish in here, some decent fish in here. 
so but yeah this is the sister lake to Iron Lake which is uh it's been nice we've come on here three days early because we, we've struggled to get across in this time of year we normally try and come out on either a Friday or a Saturday morning to get down to the lake um, but we couldn't so we've come out on a Wednesday which has been right handy there's been space on here this week just to you know get ourselves somewhere to stay and get the rods out for a few days it's been quite fun I've really really enjoyed myself so um, we've still got plenty of time yet it's like I said Thursday evening it's got all day tomorrow and we're pulling off Saturday morning so still plenty of time left probably only about half a three hour session on here but it's been yeah it's been really really good I've been 11 dad's had four um, and I foul looked efficient which I lost earlier um, but it doesn't count anyway foul looked fish so yeah it's been good <clears throat> it looks good as well the, the conditions are getting a bit more cloudy as well now which is nice and it's just it's due to get colder and it stay reasonably um, not I wouldn't say cold but colder for the time of year sort of between 70 and 75 degrees sort of from tomorrow all the way through next week so it's, it's, it's looking pretty good for us and um, I hope the fishing is pretty consistent next week so um, it's been fishing quite well on her, I think in Ireland so we'll see what happens um, the big ones are still due to come out so you never know they can come out at any point to anyone so um, so yeah I'll uh, keep posted if anything else comes up I'll show you if not I'll give you a little panoramic of the lake from here and you see what I see and you see what I mean by the lovely view from here. Thursday night, half past 10. Just slipped one back at 24, 14, wasn't it? The first one? Yeah. And then that was my middle rod, and then my left hand rod's gone off. And this is 34 and a half. 34 and a half mirror. Morning, 10 past 11, Friday, <coughs> another busy night. Um, Dad had three fish throughout the night up to 33, I think. Um, I had four and lost one, uh, biggest 34. Um, I had hook one hook pull. So, uh, yeah, busy. We had having runs almost every hour so it got to a point where <coughs> I ended up just after each fish I just left the rod in until my last one went at about half six this morning um, just to get a bit of rest get a bit of sleep um, rested the swim probably two three hours um, had a couple of hours kit get a bit of rest and then redone the rods about half nine this morning um, yeah put a bit more bait out Nothing's happened since, but I think we had a bit of a lull this time yesterday. So, yeah, it was pretty busy yesterday afternoon. Conditions look pretty much the same as yesterday. So we never know. We'll have another busy afternoon. Ah, just finished talking to you. The left hand rod's gone off. How big was it? 20, 21.10? 21.10. 2110 mirror. Right. 2110 mirror. Lovely little fish. Plenty in here this sort of size. We've had loads of this sort of stamp. Loads.
five. Um, it's been pretty slow this afternoon, but I think looking at the report, it was slow for me yesterday afternoon as well. Dad had one um, about one half one. Uh, we're just doing lunch, and he had a fish. Uh, I think that was 20, 20 pound, something or other. It was common anyway. Um, been quiet. Not seen a lot, really, neither. And the, the weather's got nice. It's really, really cloudy now, and it started raining about 20 minutes ago. Um, the wind's picked up. It's proper. Looks good for it. Um, but it's not a lot happening. Not seen anything. Looking now. No, I've not seen a lot at all. So, um, but it looks really good for it. This is uh, this is what we wanted. This is the weather that's coming in. So this is nice. Um, much better than the hot weather fishing anyway so um, it's more comfortable it's just been pretty really really warm and sticky and uncomfortable it's nice we've got a bit of rain freshens it up a little bit feel a bit better for it so yeah it's our uh, last evening on here we're heading off to Ireland tomorrow so it'd be nice to get a couple more fish on here um, it's been a good good couple of days on here I think we've had nearly 30 fish between us um, it's, been, it's, been, it's been good fun we've really enjoyed it a lot. Uh, hard fighting fish, a lot of smaller ones, plenty of fish in this sort of 20, 22 pound bracket and they fight really hard. But yeah, it's been good sport, really good sport, really enjoyed it. So uh, yeah, I'll keep posted. Morning, Saturday morning, pulling off today, uh, it's 8 o'clock, not long got up, another busy night, been up all night with fish. Um, I've only had two, Dad's had, I don't know how many he's had. He's had four fish and lost two, or so I don't know, something. <laughs> Loads of small ones again, uh, biggest sort of low 20s. Uh, loads and loads and loads of fish. The wind's completely changed, low pressure, well stormy last night. The wind's been blowing really, really strong. Pushed the fish out, because all the runs last night were all out. Tied the water into the sort of main body of water instead of sort of into the bay where I'll be catching all the fish from before. Um, yeah, gonna redo the rods now. Probably two hours before we pull off, so I'm gonna quickly recast my rods um, and then uh, slowly pack down. So, uh, if there's anything else, I'll, uh, I'll show you. If not, see you at the island, mate.